magnesium does in your body. This video covers the many places magnesium is used in your body and what happens when you don't have enough magnesium. You will find out why chlorophyll is necessary for building up your hemoglobin and how it relates to magnesium. Some ideas are discussed about magnesium in bones and lymph liquid and how stress and heart need magnesium. So, let's go on. As you will see, there are many ways you use up your magnesium stores. We all eat sugar, exercise, have stress, have poor sleep, and take in caffeine. And we all eat diuretic fruits, vegetables, and use drugs under a doctor's care. Magnesium is considered a forgotten mineral. Most people don't think about magnesium like they do calcium, potassium, or iron. Almost 70 to 80% of the population may be short on magnesium, since it has been found that they only consume about 40% of the daily recommended requirement. Short on magnesium, list of conditions when short on magnesium. If you are short in magnesium, you may not show any symptoms, you may ignore them, or you may attribute them to some other nutrient deficiency. But, it has been found that, magnesium deficiency, affects every organ in your body. Here is a list of symptoms you may have with moderate, or severe magnesium deficiency. Malnutrition, loss of appetite, poor brain function, headaches, nausea, muscle weakness, arrhythmias, palpitations, high blood pressure, Individuals who have diabetes, pancreatitis, cardiovascular issues, or are alcoholic, eat in excess of carbohydrates, may have low magnesium levels. This list of symptoms given here, is not complete, since there are so many symptoms you can have with a magnesium deficiency. And each person will have symptoms, according to how this deficiency has affected their body. Magnesium and Chlorophyll Magnesium is central to the food chain, like sodium, calcium, and potassium. Dark green plants and vegetables, contain a lot of chlorophyll and magnesium. Magnesium, holds the center position in the chlorophyll molecule, just like, iron holds this position in the hemoglobin molecule. Eating kale, spinach, broccoli, algae, parsley, green beans, garden cress, arugula and other dark green foods, gives you some chlorophyll and magnesium. When you consume more chlorophyll foods, you increase your red blood cell count, which provides more oxygen to your cells for more energy. However, chlorophyll in its natural state is poorly absorbed. For this reason, eating a lot of greens, does not give you a lot of chlorophyll, but, it does give you plenty of magnesium. Capsules and liquid chlorophyll, contain chlorophyll in the form of sodium copper chlorophyllin which is water-soluble and bioavailable. This form has 2,000 times more antioxidant power than blueberries. The benefits of consuming chlorophyllin are Promotes the production of red blood cells. It absorbs toxins. Chlorophyll acts as an internal deodorant. It has antioxidant capacities. Chlorophyll has anti-carcinogenic properties. Chlorophyll increases the production of white blood cells. The components are anti-inflammatory. It is a regulator of intestinal fermentation. Lymph liquid and magnesium. The overall balance of minerals in your lymph liquid, outside and inside your cells, determines your health. When your body's minerals are balanced, similar to seawater, you will have better health. Seawater is high in magnesium, so your lymph inside your cells should also be high in magnesium like seawater. In the following YouTube video called, The Secret to Staying Healthy, The Lymphatic System, Dr. Alan Mandel, tells you more about your lymphatic system, and how it protects you from disease. Hi and good day. Our lymphatic system is a very complex, extensive system made up of vessels and nodes that allows our system to detoxify. It allows the interstitial fluids to become balanced within the cells. This is what allows our immune system to stay strong and healthy. When our lymphatic system is not working at its maximum potential, this is where sickness starts to come in. Lymphedema, swelling, as well as many other symptoms that affect our overall health. 
Now, unlike the circulatory system, which uses the heart to pump blood throughout the entire body so oxygen can be given to the cells, the lymph vessels rely upon hundreds of tiny muscular units, which are called lymphangians. This is what's contracting throughout the body to propel the lymph. These contractions enable the lymph vessels to transport numerous substances, anywhere from proteins, toxins, hormones, fatty acids, or even immune cells, to the lymph nodes. Within your body, there are lymph nodes everywhere. Not only where you can't feel, particularly around your heart, around your organs and glands, but those that you can feel that you'll probably remember you might have had swelling in your groin or underneath your armpit. But the purpose of those lymph nodes is to increase the immune system, the white blood cells, to make antibodies to fight off and get rid of bacteria, viruses, or other types of infections. Diagrams showing the lymphatic system. Most people ignore the importance of magnesium. It is important to know what magnesium does in your body. You need to know what foods to eat to get the maximum magnesium in your body. You should know what symptoms you will have when you don't get the proper amount of magnesium. If you know how magnesium is regulated in your body, you can help your body maintain the amount that your body needs. Also, if you know what illnesses need more magnesium, you can help yourself get well. Magnesium in Bones You will find magnesium mostly in your cells, in the mitochondria, which is the energy center of your cells. Magnesium regulates the absorption of calcium and maintains the construction of bones and teeth. Lack of magnesium can lead to brittle bones and osteoporosis. Your parathyroid gland also needs magnesium to regulate your blood calcium levels. Magnesium is the third most important nutrient in building bones after calcium and vitamin D3. Half of all the magnesium in your body is found in your bones. When you lack magnesium, you are susceptible to forming calcium crystals in your bones and other body locations. Stress. If you are frequently under physical or emotional stress because of your job, home life, or regular life, most likely, you will be low on magnesium. The same holds, if you stress your body physically, by doing excess exercise and playing sports. Heart In her book, The Herbal Drugstore, Linda B. White, MD, of Herbs Health, said, Magnesium, many studies link magnesium deficiency, with heart disease, sudden cardiac death, heart attacks, and dangerous irregular heart rhythms. This mineral may help decrease plaque formation, lower total cholesterol, raise good HDL cholesterol, and inhibit platelet aggregation. Summary and Ideas Because it is most likely you are deficient in magnesium, you need to learn and apply principles that will help you get your magnesium levels back to normal. You have gotten a glimpse as to where magnesium is used in your body. And, this is just a fraction of hundreds of places, magnesium, is used to help your body function better. This video, covered ideas about, magnesium and chlorophyll, lymph liquid, bones, stress, and heart. So, let's go on to the next video, to learn more about magnesium.